What's happening guys, Cooper Carter here for G66 and Fractal Audio Systems and I am thrilled to present to you the brand new Cab Lab 4 IR customizer and mixer with Dynacab technology. Since the dawn of electric guitar, players have carefully and painstakingly chosen, positioned, and mixed microphones on speaker cabinets to capture the perfect live or recorded studio guitar tone. And now with the brand new Cab Lab 4, Fractal Audio Systems has brought all of the rich history of that hands-on, real-world experience into the virtual realm. Cab Lab is a four-channel IR mixer with tools to EQ, align, and more. You can populate its four slots with either any of the seemingly infinite single IRs available on the market, or purchase one or all of Fractal Audio's new Dynacab packs to unlock virtual mic placement anywhere on a virtual speaker chosen from a selection of classics. Once you've dialed in your perfect tone, you can send it straight to your Fractal Audio Systems device, be it an XFX3, an FM9, or an FM3, or save it to your computer for use with other IR-capable devices and plugins. Best of all, Cab Lab 4 is 100% free and available for download now at fractalaudio.com. Once you download Cab Lab 4, you can use it either as a standalone program or as a plugin inside your DAW of choice. The standalone works in software live mode with either your Fractal or other audio device to monitor your IR creations in real time. The included wizard will even walk you through setting up an amp modeling only preset to tweak your IRs. And as a plugin, Cab Lab excels at recabbing raw amp tones and exporting IRs for Fractal Audio devices. But it's when paired with the new Dynacab packs and a Fractal Audio Systems hardware device that Cab Lab 4 really shines, offering even more flexibility and options than the hardware devices themselves. So let's see just how easy it is to dial in a great sound when you pair Cab Lab 4 with an AxeFX 3. When you've downloaded and installed Cab Lab 4, you'll open it up and will be greeted with this screen. If you do want to follow along through the PDF instructions, you can click this Getting Started button or just follow along with the video that you're currently watching. To take full advantage of Cab Lab 4, you really want to have at least one or all of the DynaCapture Cab Packs available from the Fractal Audio store. You can click the cab manager here, and if you're connected to the internet, it's going to connect to the cab pack server. Once you've logged into the manager using your Fractal Audio store login information, you'll see all of your purchased cab packs here available for authorization. I have all four of the initial Dynacab packs that are available for purchase, the AC20, the Double Verb, the 1960 TV, and the Metro Blues. We're gonna get to these in just a minute. We'll click out of this, and we are presented here with the main screen of Cab Lab. So let's go ahead and set up Cab Lab for use with our XFX3. The first thing we're gonna do is select an audio interface. We're gonna go to Settings, Audio MIDI Settings, and here we've selected the XFX3's driver. I'm on a PC here. I wanna confirm that Output 1 is selected and that Input 1 is selected, and I want to select the lowest sample rate I can without getting any artifacts that's going to give me a low latency. Right here, I've got 32 samples selected with 0.7 milliseconds of latency, so not very much at all. I've turned the output one knob of my AxeFX3 down. I'm gonna hit test. And now I can bring that level up until it's at a good level for creating IRs. We're gonna go ahead and click out of the audio MIDI settings and move on to connecting our device. You'll see here under Connect, AxeFX3, FM3, and FM9, I'm gonna select my AxeFX3. Cab Lab is going to read all my user cabinet names. I have plenty of room to save some creations from Cab Lab. And now we need to load at least one IR. So I'm gonna go over here to number one where it says none, and I have the option of my four authorized Dynacab packs, or I could select a single IR from single IR mode hit browse here and load in one of these IRs from the John Petrucci IR collection volume one. You'll see it's loaded and my mix frequency is here, but we want to take full advantage of Cab Lab. So I'm gonna remove this IR. I'm gonna go to Dynacab Pack 110 Metro Blues. 
and you'll see that it's loaded up that speaker, the 1x10 E50 Shadow, and I have the choice of six different microphones here. Let's start off with the old standby, the Dynamic 57, of course, based on the legendary and much used SM57. But we're not done quite yet with setting up. If I were to play now, I'd be hearing just what my XFX3 has in this preset by default, which sounds really good, but we're not doing anything in Cab Lab. So what we're gonna do now is turn on software live mode. Over here in Audition, I'm going to go to software live mode, make sure that bypass and mute are not activated. Click this gear here, and now we are presented with the setup wizard. This makes it very easy to get everything running. If you've been following along with this video or with the PDF, you've already done steps one and four. So let's go to two and three here. Under two, we're going to select a starting preset and scene. A simple preset is recommended. I'm using preset 24, Friedman BE100, and scene one, which is the BE V1. Uh, one of my favorite factory presets. The third step here is to disable cab processing. Right now, we are sending this fully processed amplifier and cab preset into another IR inside of Cab Lab. So we wanna bypass the cabinet block. Now you could manually do that in your preset on your XFX or FM3 or FM9, but we can also click this big green do it button. And Cab Lab has now bypassed the cabinet block in our preset. So we are now ready to dial in a new custom IR. Let's start off by listening to what this 11057 combo sounds like with Cab Lab at default settings. Dead center in the speaker, right on the grill. So let's move our microphone around and you'll see how the mix frequency here changes and the sound of course changes as I move the microphone. You'll notice that unlike on the Fractal Audio hardware devices, I actually have 360 degree positioning capability here. And you'll notice that the sound is very different over here on the speaker than it is over here, even though this is a 110 speaker. Now, of course, this effect would be even more pronounced if we moved to a 412 cabinet, where moving the microphone to one end or the other would dramatically change the effect of the other speakers in the cabinet on this microphone positioned on a single speaker. Unlike the hardware, where you only have distance between the cap and the edge and distance from the grill. Let's go back to our Metro Blues here, and we can enter this zoom view here for an even larger display as we tweak our IR. Now let's add in a second IR to start blending the two. Now, of course, I could select from a completely different cabinet here, but let's go ahead and use the Metro Blues again, just with a different microphone. I'm gonna go with the Ribbon 121 for a classic combination, 57-121. We can solo just this IR and dial it in on its own. <laughs> Now in the real world, as I increase or decrease the microphone distance from the speaker itself, I would be introducing some time delay. But with Dynacabs, the mic distance doesn't introduce any time delay, so IRs are always phase aligned unless you adjust them manually, which we can do in a minute to check out how that affects the sound. Also notice that as I adjust this level parameter, <laughs> With just one IR selected, we aren't changing the sound at all. 
That's because all of the levels in Cab Lab are normalized to an optimal level so that when we do adjust this level with two IRs on, let's say, we're adjusting their levels relative to each other. So the output always remains the same. So let's listen to what we have with this 57121 right now. <laughs> You notice the output level is constant even when I bring the level of this 121 up and down. That to me is a really nice mix, but let's just add one more IR for fun and we can go with a completely different cabinet here. I'm gonna select the green back. Let's go ahead and solo it. The condenser right on the center of the cone is giving us a really raspy sound. Let's play with it just a little bit. Definitely a hairy edge to the tone that we aren't getting from those other two mics. Let's go ahead and listen to all three at the same time. We can switch to zoom to get a little more granular control. And I wanna bring both of these down and boost this hair raspiness just a little bit from our 412. I'm really happy with that. It's aggressive, it's snarly. We can go ahead and low or high cut any of these IRs if we like using these EQ knobs here. But let's switch over to this align tab. And you'll notice that even though each of our three IRs uses a separate distance from the cabinet, and in fact, this third IR is a completely separate cabinet entirely, this first prominent peak on our alignment graph shows all three IRs perfectly phase aligned. Now, of course, throughout the history of recorded electric guitar, oftentimes producers and guitarists strive to keep everything perfectly phase aligned, but then also misalignments in phase, phase discrepancies are sometimes purposefully introduced for special effect. So choosing between either milliseconds or millimeters here, we can actually change the alignment in time of our microphones to produce some of those special effects. Some comb filtering, for example. Let's see how that sounds. We can create sort of a hollowness. We can create some boxiness. This can be really useful sometimes if you are, for example, trying to make a lot of space for another guitar part. I'm gonna go ahead though and realign everything and we're going to go back to our main tab here. And since I'm really happy with how this tone is sounding, let's go ahead and name our session. We'll call this intro to Cab Lab. I'm gonna add a note. First outing with Cab Lab, three IRs. We see the frequency graph that has resulted from this mix of three IRs. We have our time alignment. And if we wanted to, we could also globally high and low cut our IR. Let's go ahead and save this session so that if I wanna pull it back up and make adjustments, I can at any time. And now let's save the IR itself. We wanna select a name, let's call it Rock Mix One. We want to use Fractal's Ultra Res format to get the absolute most out of this sound. And then to align it with the factory presets, we're going to send it to minimum phase. Now we can save this IR either to my PC or to my AxeFX 3. Let's save it directly to the AxeFX. I'm going to select user slot 6 here. Go ahead and hit save. And now if we switch over to Axe Edit, I can check out my user cabinets and at number 6 we have my rock mix. This will be exactly the sound that we were just previewing through Cab Lab a second ago. There are so many benefits to using Cab Lab above and beyond the hardware. For one, you have 360 degree microphone placement, 
But maybe most importantly, for users of the FM3 especially, which only allows you to select between two different IRs in a cabinet block, you can mix so many different IRs together to create sounds here and then simply export a single IR combining all of those different IRs into your unit. I hope you see just how powerful a tool Cab Lab 4 is, and I highly encourage you guys to download it. Again, it is free and dive into tweaking and mixing your own impulse responses. If you guys enjoyed this video, please do make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to G66's channel and leave me a comment in the comment section below, letting me know what you'd like to see on a future Fractal Friday. And as always, if you guys want to get the absolute most out of your Fractal Audio Systems device, whether that's an AxeFX 3, an FM9, or an FM3, make sure to visit classes.coopercarter.com for my complete Fractal Audio Masterclass series. For all things Fractal Audio, keep it right here on G66, and I will see you guys very soon on Fractal Friday.